everybody, this is Charlene. I am the manager at the Petoskey Fustinis, and today we're gonna to be making some oatmeal uh, chocolate chip cookies. And because it's day one of our uh, stay at home order, I have a lot of ingredients left in my cupboard. But this is a great recipe to be able to use at home and to make with your kids. So we're gonna start by adding, um, getting an egg, and then today we're going to be using butter olive oil instead of butter or margarine. It cuts on the saturated fats. So the rule of thumb is for every quarter cup of butter that your recipe calls for is to use three tablespoons of olive oil, a half a cup of brown sugar, and a quarter cup of granulated sugar. And then we're going to put in a whole tablespoon of vanilla because vanilla is delicious. And then we're just going to mix this recipe or this these ingredients up really well here until they are a little bit of a cohesive kind of mess. So once everything's incorporated here, we're going to set this aside. And then we are going to use our oats. This is one and a half cups of old fashioned oats. Don't use the instant kind, you'll regret it. We're going to use uh, three quarters of a cup of all-purpose unbleached flour and then we are going to put in a half of a teaspoon of baking soda and then we're just going to put a little pinch of salt. I prefer Himalayan sea salt. It's not quite as strong um, but because we're not using the butter we are going to put a little bit of salt in there to help bring out all the other flavors. So then we're just going to um, give this a little bit of a mix and then we're going to add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients. So now that we have all the ingredients incorporated here, we're going to add the delicious mix-ins. So here I have a heaping cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and a, uh, about a quarter of a cup of sunflower seeds. And then I have about a quarter of a cup of craisins, which I have soaked in our grapefruit balsamic for about a half hour and then I strained them off. And we're going to throw those in there. And then we're just going to mix this up until incorporated. And now it looks like a lot of add-ins, but that's what you want for really delicious oatmeal cookies. All right, so now once we get all this mixed in, we are going to take our scoop and a plate. And we're going to ball these up into little, nice little round, heaping, piles here onto this plate. You get all of them heaped onto a plate. Then what we're gonna do is throw some saran wrap on it and we're gonna let these chill in the refrigerator for two hours and then we're gonna bake them. <laughs> okay, so we bake the cookies at 350 degrees for exactly 11 minutes and they turned out absolutely perfectly. And so we're gonna taste them. Kai's on the other side of the camera, but I'm gonna hand her one. But we're gonna taste them together. Mmm, the perfect oatmeal chocolate chip cookie.